All right, so the camera decided that they can only take a certain time. I think it's 15 minutes or so. Might even have been a battery, so here we go again. Restart it. Uh, I was saying that this is going to serve as a carbon fiber roof rack, so it will be plenty strong. And even if these things do not exactly get 100% straight, that it will be just fine. Um, carbon is expensive. This particular roll I got from US Composite as usual. And second assortment or discounted fabric does go for, um, let's say, just under $30 per roll. And each sheet is a yard long so you can do the math and see that there's easily sixty seventy dollars in this plank if you wish here and as you get better work at it more you also find ways how to save a little money and if it is pieces that does not have to be presented in the view of a gazillion other, here say that, and I'm recording it for YouTube, that's wonderful, but... <laughs> anyway, to save a little bit of material, that's the way I chose to do it. So, last of the layers, and we're good to go. Now comes the fun part. The other sheet turn it around and then you got to have to find exactly from now on then I take the gloves on because there is nothing on the back side here and then you can see as you start to massage it more and more the carbon saturates obviously it's highest in the middle your job is then to get that out towards the outside. It might migrate a little bit back up, but slowly, as it is a molasses consistency, it should continue to saturate for that really, really pretty finish that you're looking for. It would be great if you did not have any air bubbles that will be just about impossible for me because I have the indent in the middle here so because of that I will inevitably get a few bubbles in there <clears throat> I don't care it doesn't bother me at all Make sure that you don't drift <laughs> the top plate while slowly pushing it down. And you drift away from the bottom plate and now those two pieces are not aligned anymore. That would obviously be not be desirable either. Now, you can see that there's actually quite a bit of <clears throat> little bubblies in there. And there's nothing you can do about it at this point. That is just the way this is going to be because of my crooked little fabric layout here. And that's fine with me. I wanted to demonstrate the technique as of how to make a plate of carbon fiber. And uh, if you had not had that in there you would have seen slowly you would have been able to squeeze it out but you can see actually it's towards the exterior away from the middle and the only reason I have these in the middle is because um, I simply trapped them <laughs> now if you could 
can kind of see you can sort of massage them out but yeah I don't care that doesn't matter to me play with it this is how you do it now next uh, we look at the video this is now going to harden for oh probably two three hours uh, as the temperature continues to rise in here um, we're still only at 102 so what I'm going to do is I will move this lamp down and elevate it to about 150 degrees and it'll just sit there for a while I will do that simply if I move this over to the other heat lamp that sits closer and you will then see that it will quickly increase to a higher temperature. That's it. See you when it's uh, all cured.